G'day Carbonites, welcome back to our uh, breeding mini-series. This is just a quick uh, amendment to the first episode when we were talking about the actual smart breeding app. So in between that time, the, um, the developer of the program actually contacted me and uh, released an update with a couple of fixes, um, or actually more like tweaks. He's he's just uh, made it a little bit easier for us to um, to decipher if it, it's uh, calculating the stats properly or not, um, which is really good actually. Um, he's already added the brand new dinos, so the brand new dinos. Uh, are in already. I mean, the patch hasn't even been out for 24 hours yet. Um, so yeah, he's got he's got all the dinos in. Okay, so something that was confusing me a little bit, um, and maybe some of you guys as well, is um, the the sum at the bottom of the stats. Let me. I'll just um, I'll read the stats from this guy here, and show you what I mean. So down the bottom here, we had um, the sum of it, it was basically the the 223. And, um, but there was a, there was a less than or equals to sign. So it didn't matter if it was less. So when it wasn't including the speed, um, it was still correct. So what he's done is he's changed it to just include a tick. So if it's a valid, uh, combination of stats, you'll see a tick. If you see a plus symbol with the number, you'll be able to recognize that the, the combination is wrong and you will have to select a new, um, level distribution from one of the yellow tabs. He's also added tooltips over them so you can actually read um, what they're meant to be. So that's really helpful and it just goes to show how active he is as a developer. So if you download the new version which is um, which is 0 0.20.11.1 you'll, you'll have this new feature here. Uh, and it makes it a lot easier to, to work out what's going on. There's a couple other things. Uh, in the edit tab, there's an edit more button, which uh, brings it over to the, the start testing screen, which is really good because I like playing around with um, domesticated levels and actually like planning out the build, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and then I know that's not what it's meant for. It's It's meant for, you know, changing things, but that's what you could do with it because um, it tells you the current value, um, but it also tells you the breeding value as well, so you know what you started with. So the main thing I think this was um, done for is because there was no way to change the imprinting bonus or the, um, or the mutations once the dino was entered into the system, so uh, you can do all that now without having to re-extract the data and uh, re-enter it into the library. So that's a good addition. Okay, something else he told me about, um, which I thought was really, really cool, is um, you can actually hover over the uh, little green bar that shows you how many um, how many levels went into it, and it actually gives you the percentage of like how rare that stat is. So let's, let's find our high level ones. We've got this 47 uh, into food. It's a it's in the top 0.13 percent, so that's a pretty decent stat. Um, I I really like that. That's really cool. Let's see if we can find something that's really terrible. Oh, 21. That's pretty low. What's um? Whoa, <laughs> the top 80 percent, 80.61 percent. Yeah. And it's on the extractor as well, so you can check it while you're actually extracting the data. So that, that 37 is 0.75% uh, chance. That's a 3.21% chance. I, I think that's really cool. I, I like that. Um, okay, one more thing I wanted to tell you guys about, which is something I forgot to tell you about, is... Um, the the breeding planner takes into account all your dinos uh, and chooses the best pair to to mate. But you can actually force it to to select one um, just by going into your library. If you right click it and uh, and choose best breeding partners, 
it'll um it'll find all the all the best ones. Well, it'll bring bring up like I think it's the top ten. Yeah, yeah, it's the top ten. the The only reason why it's um it's only bringing up seven is because I've actually only got seven males to choose from. Um, yeah, so this is actually pretty useful. I should I should use this a lot more because it actually like it gives you the level that you should be on the lookout for. So 305, it also tells you the probability of that coming up, which is really high for this pair, 34.3%. Uh, and also adds up the uh, mutations because we've actually got a mutation on this one and we've got three mutations on this one. So I thought that was pretty cool. It looks like he is um, adding an ability to load dinos from mods as well. Um, I don't know much on it yet, but it looks like a, as long as the dino is, follows the same basic principles of ARC in general, like it doesn't calculate stats in a weird way, um, if, it, if the mod just changes base values, you'll be able to plug in that data. And that's really good for us in um, Anna in our remastered series, because um, remaster changes all the base stats. So unfortunately, this program is um, basically useless for us in that series. Uh, so that'd be really good if he does add a simple way to incorporate those uh, new base stats into this. Um, That'd be really good, but uh, we, yeah, I don't know much about it just yet. Okay, guys, so that's all I wanted to go through um, with you guys, just an amendment. I just, honestly, I thought it was amazing that he actually watched the video and uh, and commented on it. Uh, and, and on top of that, he made changes to, to make it easier for us. I, uh, yeah, so thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you found it useful, guys. As always, don't forget to lead your targets. I'll see you next time.